guys. This is the continuation of what we've been doing in just that other video that I stopped uh, like a minute ago, not even. So what we're going to do here is finally start working on our attributes for our pet. I know that the pet is a long series, guys, but like, hey, everyone wants to have a good working pet, right? So let's quit out of there. Go on over to our classes, quick pet. Let's make sure that it has its task. So we can we only have those, so we can do that. So we need to set this to one. And then uh, on our player, what is it? One to one hundred? Yes. The health of a pet should definitely just go up on its own. 10 is way too, that's too small. Uh, what's the monster health at? 10, 999, yeah. Pet should start like that too at level one. This way, you know, it'll have decent health by the time it's 120. Should probably make it 1000. That would just be a more solid number in general. Player health will probably be like 2,000. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Because, you know, you won't have a pet right away, so you're going you're gonna to need some health and stuff at the beginning of the game, or you're just going to get owned. Not trying to make the game impossible. <laughs> so, we could also uh, add attack and strength to our monster soon as well but let's just finish the pet we'll do that in the next tutorial and then from there we could actually uh, start going on with small stuff like chests uh, you know how to make it like a like a trap door or something something that like will move at a certain point in time in the game like after you've played for a certain amount of hours then all of a sudden you know like a rock will just start to to, to crumble down, you know, shake down or some shit. Like you can, oops. I guess then, I guess that's not really that bad of a word, anyway. Um, <coughs> but yeah, we'll do like something cool like that as well. Start setting up a bit more of a maybe a bit of a town layout here because yeah, this is looking kind of plain, right? <coughs> but now that our pet has everything here nice and set up, we could actually go into our attack. So let's go on into our slash attack here and into our on skill hit. We could actually copy this this whole thing right here and 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 use it to work with us a little bit. You know what I mean here? So let's go into our snow golem attack here. You can see our on skill hit is uh very crummy. Just kidding, it's not that crummy. <laughs> but anyway. Oh yeah, um, gotta go back into here, copy, can't close it, you gotta do it like this, then you can paste it, perfect. So yeah, random in range. Uh, we could do this if you guys want to have monsters to have criticals as well. Um, again, we'd uh, we'd need to put a random in range uh, local variable on our NPC. So let's see here. Let's make it you know advanced. Why not? You know this is how a normal game would do it. Monster was ha monsters have just about the same advantage as a player has, depending on the level. You know what I mean? Um, at this point, this is saved. Control S. Let me see here. Uh, okay, I can't even see fucking my 
shit. There you go. Um, all right. Um, so if we go to my character here and we look at what we have. We have random and range and equipped it. All right, cool. We don't need equipped it, so let's just add random and range in here. Uh, I believe it's a float. I guess I'm not too sure. What is that? Is that a string? Is that a float? I think that is a that is a float. I'm gonna say that that's a float. Anyway, because at this point we could use those small numbers. It gives it like a harder or less of a chance of getting you know your critical hit even when you're at a higher level. So float random. that there keep it at zero so it's going to do random and range and skill owner as flat block so that would be this because it owns the skill then after that it's checking if the act attack from skill owner as game object is less than this so so if this is less than equal this pretty much we've already discussed this but yeah, um, if the number that's generated, let's say you have 10 attack is less than 10, then you're going to hit it critical. But let's say you have obviously you know 99 or 100 attack, then you're going to be hitting criticals every time. Uh, we'll probably have a secondary uh, method put in here later on in time, like another if then saying if, uh, like another like, you know, uh, more than so like but instead of a less than equal it's more than equal so like if it's if our attack and the skill owner is more than equal uh, yada 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 do this else cast this regular one you know what I mean so that this way uh, we're not hitting criticals every time we're only going to be hitting criticals like 75% of the time we'll, we'll say would be the maximum for the game ish Again, you would adjust those numbers. Uh, now that I've just told you about it, feel free to just jump in and do it if you think you can. I'll eventually do a video on it. <coughs> For now, um, everything here looks like it's uh, set up nicely. So yeah, get the attribute strength from da 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 da. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna grab the skill owner. It's gonna do the hit object. Let's hit it happening at the hit point. Perfect. I like that. Everything's working. So now, when we spawn our, um, so I know it's instantiating to level five, so it's gonna have a lot of health at this point, or it should have a lot more health. Although that's uh, that's coming out as like level ten, right? I believe the samurai. I don't know. It's coming out of level one. What the hell? Shit! I gave it a strong attack or something. Okay, anyway, pets no level, level 5. We'll change that down to like level 2. Uh, let's see here. So our random and range is kicking in. We're, we're go, what are we going to want to do now with this? Yes. We need to go in here and on the on state enter when it's um, starting. Or, you know, that actually just doesn't seem right to me. It just doesn't seem right. Because, like, it's not random enough. So, this particular pet snow golem. Hmm. <laughs> because, like, I know what I want to do. It's going to be like I'm trying to have it you know set the skills on start but like the same every time which is it's easy enough to do but like I want it to go somewhat based off of the level as well which isn't very easy at this point because yeah 
So if this one's gonna start off at level two, so then we'll give it some decent, you know, uh, skill. So uh, we won't ever use this character for anything other than a level two pet snow golem. Or screw it, we'll just do level five because you know you're not gonna have a level two damn pet snow golem. <coughs> um, but yeah, in character we can start actually changing some attributes here. Let's grab three of those. There we go. Or actually, instead of changing, we'll just set attributes because that's easier in this case. Set, set, set. So we want to set the value of attack, strength, defense. All of these are in south, so we want the attack to be just level five. We'll give it a nice attack of like three. No, no, no. We'll give it four because it's a critical, right? So like four, that's still not very high for a chance for a critical for a level five. You know what I mean? That's not that's that's good for a level five. Um, the strength will make it a three, and the defense. It's a snow golem, so it should have some decent defense. So let's grab some defense here. Five. There you go. Um, now then, um, now that it has defense, it should. If I go what, back to the skills here, samurai slash. Is it calculating through? Nah. See, like even this thing's not attacking properly. Uh, if I do my slash, what does it do me again fully? See, now we're gonna uh, uh, wanna minus whatever the defense is, or minus half of the person's defense in the attack. You know what I mean? So like this way it halves your attack pretty much from whatever the defense is. Um, We'll, we'll do that in a later video because we clearly need to set up our samurai similar to this now. So, hooray. Right, copy samurai. Okay. Anyway, that's not going anywhere. So let's try that again. There you go. Now it's gone. Um, random and range. Let's put that inside our character here. NPC samurai test. Sorry about that, I had a text. Um, random in range. Add that in there, good to go. Monsters officially have that attack as well. Um, yeah, that should be, should be it right there. Let me see here. Um, so now I gotta add like the skills to be developed a bit here on the on state enter. Uh, <coughs> a ride. Um, character 
Whoops. Set attribute. So this is, this can't be a level 1 monster because, you know, like, he's a little pretty beast looking guy, so we gotta hook him up. He's gotta be like level 7 or something. We'll make him the first boss, level 10, bang. That's how you do. We'll make some smaller monsters, you know, turn this into a little type of game by the end of this tutorial. Perfect. Um... Now then, so now that it's level 10, it's obviously going to be much stronger than what our golem was. So he clearly is a samurai, so he's going to excel in attack greatly. So he's going to have like a crazy like attack, so like he's going to have a high chance of getting criticals. He's level 10, we should give him like level 13 attack. We'll give him nice strength because you know they have really good power and those things slice if you're trained properly so uh, we, we'll put that to a solid like 10 and then you know their defense is as good as their swinging pretty much um, the, the, he looks like he's got some good armor as well so we'll, we'll give him like a nice solid 8 for the defense right there so like he's clearly a beast you're gonna need to fight him and a pet Unless you're obviously level 10 as well, and then you have some savage stats. Uh, yeah. He's obviously a hard worker. <laughs> so, let's save this right now. He's gonna spawn in like a champion. His attacks are now hitting bricks and shit. Uh, there we go. I like it. I uh, like it. There we go. Uh, everything's going according to plan, so we don't need this in here anymore. We just need these. All right. Um, so now both our pet and our monster both have unique fighting skill by their level and then how you set up that uh, at some point we'll come up with more of an automatic leveling skill so that this way you can set those levels any way you want and that it'll you know come up with different level strategies per level so let's do this guys um well not that that's another video now if we spawn into the game here i play a monster and that npc uh enemy spawns right there. Let's uh, spawn my Okay, so this defense could not be found on the actor. Attack could not be found on the actor. Okay, hold on here. Uh, classes, monster. Oh, add all attributes. I spelled defense wrong, that's why I shit. Oops. There you go, now it's spelled defense. Um, actually, where else did I misspell this? <laughs> it's not good. I don't think I ever really used the defense anywhere in here yet. Yeah, no, I haven't. Okay, cool. <laughs> we haven't actually worked up our defense strategy yet. So now once we uh, load into this here, we shouldn't have any more errors. There we go. 
So if I go into the demo scene here, we click on our clone, open up the details, as you can see we got four attack, three strength, five defense for our golem. And we got 13, 10, and 8. The experience is quite high because the level, the health is high. It's the, the health is only 43 here. Um, let's add a health bar.